Welcome to Mothership Hits the... Ouch! I'm sure you have heard of Squid Game, right? It has taken the world by storm. But what do people in Singapore think about this show? Let's find out. Read my outfit. Nine? Just the colour is not right? I got nine! How this dress is how? 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 So what do you think about the show? I thought it was very trippy. Pretty cool. Quite um, real. Not many of us know uh, the Korean childhood games, right? So to me, it was something new to learn. Oh, I quite like it. It's uh, very intense. I love the concept. You enjoy watching people get killed? <laughs> Long story short, yes. Do you think it's overrated? It's not really overrated. It's just that maybe people find it very interesting to watch. Overrated, I think. It gets a bit cliche with the last two episodes. Personally, I'm only at uh, episode two. But there's a very good reason for that. I feel like it's actually a bit too slow for my pace. A much better comparison to Squid Game is actually at least in Borderland. Yeah, I think it's a little bit overrated. I think it's very entertaining, but me personally, I wouldn't rate it like, like the best show I have ever watched on Netflix. I would rate it around like 8.5. I don't think it's overrated, but yeah, I, I did enjoy it until the second last episode. I think it's quite cliche um, that, okay, spoilers. The the guy's brother, um, but it's still enjoyable at the end. Why do you think people like to watch this kind of show? Because some people do like to watch violent shows. <laughs> action. It's mainly for the action plot. It's out of reality, but at the same time, you can find some familiarities with, with life itself. I think now people are very stressed. Maybe they want to have like kind of like an outlet of their emotions. The society is driven by money and then people would do everything for money. This kind of like mentality, I think it's very relatable. It's mysterious, especially the first few episodes where the players don't know what they're playing and then uh, the viewers also want to, you know, see what is like the next game and stuff like that, yeah. I think people are inherently evil, all of us. We have thoughts in our head like, oh, what if that guy got hit by a car? Or what if I stab that guy? These are very like unprompted thoughts, but it happens. So with these shows, right, it's a guilty-free way of, oh, I get to see what, what happens to that guy. But that guy doesn't get any consequences from it because it's acting. Yeah, then I think ultimately that's why a lot of people enjoy these kind of games. I think she studied philosophy. <laughs> No. Am I right? No. Ah. Very deep, right? Yeah, yeah, very deep. Eh. What she said right, is deeper than my life. <laughs> Under what circumstances, right, you will take part in this game? Under no circumstances. <laughs> Under no circumstances. No. I, I don't think I'll join it. You don't risk your life for that? No. Honestly, I would go for it if they do earn a lot of money. But also because there's a lot of risk, so I might think twice. I think even if I join, I think I'll die very quickly. <laughs> What if right, someone kidnap your girlfriend? You must join this game. Yeah. If not, then they will kill your girlfriend. Would that be her? If that is her, I still wouldn't join. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'll kill you. <laughs> Don't worry. The game won't kill him, but you know who will kill him. If your girlfriend is being kidnapped, then you will go to play? No. If it's in a Singapore context, right? Uh -huh. What kind of like games do you think they should play? You tie people on the roulette and then throw darts. On. You should definitely go do season two. I think I would die. I cannot. Skipping rope. Skipping again. Takro maybe. Five stone. Yes, I can win five stone. Um, the one with the the stick. You get a bunch of stick, then you let go. Then if it moves, then you're out. How about like chopsticks? what kind of life lessons did you learn from this show? Don't talk to strangers on MRT, in particular if they slap your face. But if Kong Yu were to slap you, right, do you like wish him to slap you even more? Yeah, I'm sorry. Jump slap. 
Do you have other life lessons that you learn from this? What is life even, you know? Like, it's very understandable for people to willingly join these games. Because if you really are in debt and you really have a lot of things that going on in your life, right? You do it. Yeah, it's either you die, then you don't need to pay your debt. But if you win, oh, you win a lot, man. Never go broke. Don't play games with strangers on the road. What if you want to play games with Kong Yu? I, I, will, I might, I might. Tell me honestly, you want to get slapped by him as much as possible, right? I refuse to answer this question. <laughs> we will let him slap you. Can get slapped, but not the face. Yeah. Slap where? <laughs> slap where? <laughs> Let's play a game. Open it up. <gasps> I don't know what is this. Basically, the needle, right? You just have to poke along the line. Oh, make, make sure it doesn't crack. Okay, okay correct. Jane, go. Let me crack it. Oh my god, oh my god. One eternity later. They crack it, they crack it. Good job, good job. Which colour do you want? I will take the red. I'll take blue. Oh! oh. It's really hard though. How do you think of this game? I, I think we don't get to even join the game. Uh, we even get the name card, yeah. Can you try? <laughs> you gotta slap me. I will not slap you. You should use cane instead of... Okay, I'll, I'll take that. Which hand? Uh, uh, whichever you want. <laughs> <laughs>